dear viewers, I have a confession to make. There are two things in this world that I treasure probably more than anything else. And one is the outdoors. The other is me. One of the most exciting things that I find about traveling, apart from finding all the outdoors and animals activities I can do, is actually discovering what people like to eat. Food is so important to our culture and a big important part of food is is meat. But these two things don't often see eye to eye. Meat requires the bodies, the literal dead bodies, of one of the most exciting things I find about the outdoors, which is animals. So why do I get upset when I see pictures like this online? So what am I getting at here? I decided to message him on Instagram and ask if I could accompany him on a hunt so that I may see how he sees nature. He replied very quickly and said he'd be more than happy for me to come along and document his experience and my own. This most recent adventure that I embarked on was a challenging one, not physically but mentally. I hope you enjoy this adventure, I hope it challenges your worldview, but more importantly I hope it gives you a window into someone else's experience of the natural world. Ladies and gents, may I introduce you to Enrique. He has been hunting in Spain for many years and has built a strong online presence promoting his hunting practices. Today we have our sights set on roe deer. Now there are many different types of deer which roam these forests, so knowing which one is which is vitally important. And the only way to know that is to have an incredible knowledge of the ecosystem as a whole which when I asked, Enrique was more than happy to demonstrate for us. He or she is a small sized wild boar. Mm -hmm. uh, you, we can see that the, um, there's another finger. And roe deer doesn't have that thing. They have that fingers, but they, they are really happy. Yeah. So when they walk, you, they, they don't press that finger. Mm -hmm. So wild boar, instead, they, they, when they when, when the, it's muddy, yeah. so they, they, they are walking, you can tell that they are there's the two fingers and then there's a third and a fourth one. After some time searching the landscape, it didn't take us that long to find the animal Enrique was looking for. Once I got there, yeah. here almost, the robots were here, eating here. Oh, no, far away. No, I see them. I see them. After trudging through some mud as quietly as possible, we reached the field where our target was grazing. The female, the female. Is it on the road? Yes, I see her. Now, we needed to make a plan to get as close as we can.
After we gave the animal its moment of respect, we began the tracking process. In order to carry out the tracking process successfully, Enrique needed to find the subtle details in the land. Spots of blood, footprints, hair, anything that would indicate to the animal's whereabouts. Check now the direction. As you might have guessed, this is a lot trickier than it may seem. And after a while of looking at blood tracks and not knowing where the hell the animal went, we decided to go back to the car and get some backup. I wanted to clean her a little bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I have trained her, but not with the time that I would love to. Yes, yeah. You know? Yeah. Because I'm finishing the studies, I'm always yeah. hunting, I'm filming. And normally bringing my dog means that I need to be only focus on the dog. Yeah. So I don't find the time normally to do that. Mm -hmm. But still, I she has found me a couple of animals, and it was really exciting. I mean, it was oh, that's awesome. really awesome. She's always learning. I mean, and and she has the instinct. That is, the, I think, one of the most important things. Yeah. Because there's dogs that doesn't have the instinct. Yeah. But Nera, in this case, she's like crazy with hunting because when I came home. Uh -huh. When I go home, I mean, and back home, yeah. uh, and I and I have been hunting, she will smell every tiny part of me because she's looking for an animal. ¿Qué es? ¿Dónde está? ¿Dónde está? It's safe to say that the little dog was far more efficient at finding this animal than we were. And this leads us to the moment which filled me with more emotions than the initial shot. And that is discovering the body of the animal. This is good for the dog. Yeah. So she, the next time, knows what's happening, no? They knows mm. the emotion of the, of the moment. And it's good to let her bite a little bit, not... Yeah like for, for hours, but it's good. Muy bien, Nera. Well done. <laughs> the emotions from realizing that we had just taken the life of something were slowly but surely beginning to filter into my mind. Moments after discovering Nadia, we gave it a moment of respect, a way to commemorate the animal's life. Shortly after, we prepped the deer for the photograph. The photograph was not what I expected, Enrique told me that the process of taking the photograph was important because it helped capture a memory of the day. The animal that was shot, who was on the hunt, and the ecosystem in which it took place. He told me that it was important that the animal looked as it would in life for the photograph. So he takes great care in making sure that the animal is presentable. After the photograph was taken, the real work began. And, for the real reason, we were there. To put food on the table. I was asked not to film too much graphic footage, so the stuff that I have filmed will not be the worst of the worst. However, if you are squeamish, please look away now. Although I kept my camera within the guidelines of respect, I feel it is important to document this side of the process. After all, this is how some of my favourite meals are made. For me, this process was extremely important. It was a stern reminder that some of the food that I enjoy had to have come from something which was alive. This is one of the best parts of the roe deer. It's called the backstraps. And they are really, really nice to eat. I mean, I enjoy them every time. So this is first quality meat. And in a way, I should be thinking about that, or I should be aware that a lot of my favorite meals came from living, breathing creatures, or at the expense of living, breathing creatures. Watching this process of breaking down an animal that not that long ago was alive and kicking, and then turning it into something which I would buy in the supermarket was an eye-opening experience for me. After all was said and done, we packed the deer carcass into a bag 
and we carried on the day, wandering around the countryside. Before we left the fields, I wanted to talk to him about why he likes to hunt, so you could hear it from him directly. Hunters, we, I mean, most hunters love animals. We are a, a part of, of this, as, as, as I was saying, ecosystem. So we are uh, one of the main um, ones that, one of the main persons that we like that nature is as really a place where you can find animals, where you can find a diversity. I mean, I as a human being feel part of, of that circle of life and not just like um, someone that is looking outside from the window. No, I mean, I'm, I'm really on that game. I'm, 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 I'm a, an important player. I, I'm part of an important role there. So I feel about hunting in a really romantic way of This adventure was a challenge for me, but not just in the way I see the natural world, but almost more in the way I see other people. Next time that I'm online and I see a picture of somebody hunting or even just doing something that I disagree with, instead of automatically thinking that that person's a bad person, maybe I would think that there is a deeper story behind that photograph, and more importantly, that the person in the photograph could be someone that I could get along with. Nature conservation, in my experience, has always been complicated. And the more friends that you have who want to achieve that goal, the better. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, smash that subscribe button, like that like button, and ring that bell for more videos, which will be somewhere probably on the screen here by now. You can watch even more videos of me. Why wouldn't you want to do that? But more importantly, what I want you to do is go outside and have your own exciting adventure. And then check back in with me when you come back. Cheers.